How's it going everybody? It's Heavens Matisse here, back again with another video, and today I am very excited to bring you a review on The Vore. Now, I found out about this book on TikTok, and I literally impulse bought it off Thrift Books. If you watched my last video, you'll know that this video was coming up, and that I did buy a couple other books too, but The Vore was the one that I came for. When I first got this book, I was really excited. From my first look, the inside cover here is like super cool looking, the outside cover is very cool, and even in the back there's like this little note and usually when someone writes a little note in a book it means that it was like especially good for someone this says i won't let you not grow in this world of madness let me be your anchor anyways i was super excited about this book i thought i found another little hidden gem like i had with briefing for descent into hell by doris lessing if you haven't seen a review on that please go check it out it's on my channel unlike that last book which was anything but going through hell this book was an eternal damnation the premise of the boar is really enticing. It has this mythical wood that's in Africa, it's in colonial times. Like there's a lot of cool things that are happening here that would get somebody like myself to read it. And obviously it did. The premise of the boar is really enticing. It has this mythical wood that's in Africa, it's in colonial times. Like there's a lot of cool things that are happening here that would get somebody like myself to read it. And obviously it did. And now before I get any further in this video, I know I don't like to keep you guys waiting and most people are pretty impatient these days with TikTok and everything, but I hated this book. Like I am giving it a one out of 10. I would give it a zero out of 10 even, except I finished the entire book and the fact that I even finished the entire book warrants that it gets one point, but I'm even more angry that I finished this book because nothing ever happened. More than anything else, I think this made me the most angry. This book was extremely pretentious, and I absolutely despise people who are being so much more pretentious than they need to be. Now, let me just come any random example. Like, I literally opened this book and flipped to a random page, and I was like, there's gonna be something on here that just sounds ridiculous. Let me read this to you guys. The hunchback cottage grafted to the side of the mill was a public house with noise broadcasting its presence. He walked to its door and tasted its interior. Who's tasting the interior, first of all? Cooking smells, drink, smoke, and loud voices, a company of conflict. What is a company of conflict? Here's the next sentence. Inside was worse. A solid decor of masculine tension sprawled between the loud guffaws and sullen quiet. What is going on with this? Come on, dude. Like, I understand there were a lot of actually really well-written things in here, but probably every page you had something that was absolutely ridiculous. All of this too was at the cost of using really fancy words, long sentences, and adjectives to describe things that shouldn't have described those things. It was just bad writing. This is a little bit nitpicky because I never charted this out myself, but the geography in this book makes no sense. They start in all these weird places and none of the streets seem to line up. If I was conceptualizing it in my head, they'd be talking about people who would be in a different village and then reference that village as if it was close, but then no one in this city knew anything about this village and there was no cultural overlap even though these were supposed to be in the same world. It's very, very confusing and if not saying, you know, this is another absurdist thing that's going on, I just really didn't think it made any sense and really detracted from the book. The second reason I like this book, and probably going to be the biggest reason for most people, is that this book went literally nowhere. The book opens with this all-important character who like sacrifices his wife to make a bow and arrow, and he's following all of this spiritual magic which leads him eventually into the Vor, which is the mythical force which kind of murks up your brain. And in the end of the book, after basically nothing has been accomplished the entire book, uh, actually nothing has been, he dies for no reason without having accomplished anything and you follow this character for 600 pages for no reason whatsoever. This is the biggest reason I didn't like this book and I think a lot of people will agree with this, probably not as many as the previous reason for disliking this book, but the vor I'd say is really two-thirds of the 600 pages that are here in this book. Now there is a whole other book that he makes you read. It's about Edward Muybridge, who is a photographer. I guess he was kind of accused of being Jack the Ripper back in the day, like 1800s or something. I didn't even bother to look it up. I seriously don't care. But one third of this book is about this character who has 
completely nothing to do with the rest of the story. There is no connection whatsoever to the rest of the story. And apparently that was by design. I was like, why would, why would you do this? Oh, you know, the absurdism argument again. No. You could have just wrote in this book, please read this other book alongside of it, and that's the joke. Complete waste of my time. I think the author himself of The Vor put it really nicely. B. Catling said in this interview that I read online, there was a great sense of the Vor writing itself once it finally got underway. So there were no roadblocks. It just whispered in my ear and I typed it out. All right guys, I feel like I, this book is getting me a little bit heated. I kind of need to stop talking about it, but uh, I sh really don't recommend you read this book. It's kind of a waste of time and there's a lot of stuff online that points towards this being a good book. I don't know if that's all just pushed by the author or some people that he's friends with, but I, I really don't agree that you should read this. You should spend your time reading literally anything else. This is probably the, one of the worst books I've read in a long time. Now, I really thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.